Coming up on Kim of Queens. It's a new season at Padgett Place, and that means it's time to recruit new girls. I'm the number one diva, and I'm here to stay, yeah. You are hot! Back in my day, I won Miss Georgia because I shook things up. I'm the only one that's been on a national stage. Get over there and sit your tail down. My current team needs more spark, y'all. You obviously like... haven't been practicing dance. This is the bottom line. Y'all don't want this. I disagree, of course, with what you're saying. I want to win. I want to make some noise. Like me. OK. Ah, look, talent. All week, you have been stepping in my territory. And I'm going to lead come hell or high water. I'm about to lose it, y'all. Every new pageant season, I look for new girls to train as my pageant pros. The girls that can go out there week after week and win. And what are you doing for us today, Caroline? Contortion. Wow. Okay. Okay. I'm looking for three things. I'm looking for talent. Fiddle! Fiddle! Come on! Confidence. Wow. Thank wow, you. wow, wow, You're wow. Good. wow we'll wow. let you know. And a little something, something that makes me believe I can help them grow. Think you can do that, Kim? Oh, Lord. My inner thighs are in pain. <laughs> I also want to re audition some of my old pageant pros to make sure they're still hungry and still want to be at pageant place. We have to audition I'm again. Not, I'm not where she at. I'm not to tell her to. Well, I'm just saying there's a lot of people here. Well, there ain't nobody any good. Look. None of these kids here can beat our girls. Like they don't know what they're getting into. I think this whole thing is stupid. Why is Kim making Mara audition? She should be spending her time coaching, not auditioning. This is what I'm paying for? Do you know how I feel about clogging? I know you don't like it. I know. I, I admire you coming anyway and giving it your best. <laughs> Clog off that stage okay. and clog it right on out of here. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. <laughs> clog it, I swear. Clog your heart out. Clog all the way to Dixie, for all I care. I don't like it, OK? I don't like green peas, either. That girl's good. Mom, you cannot be so weak on these kids. Anything you do with family is, is tough. Kim, like don't tell me what I want to be. I know what I'm doing. My mom drives me insane. What you want to be? What you, 67. What you trying to be, You're 67? trying to be 67. You got 10 good years left. Allison ain't nothing but a redneck. Uh, Allison, please. <laughs> she got class coming at her beep. And them collars. <laughs> <laughs> collars are going to come at the other end Oh, in please, y'all, uh, stop. Working with family. Need I say more? Hi. How, How are, are you? you? I'm good. I'm going to love your red patent yes. shoes. <laughs> Thank you. What's your name? I'm Raven. I've seen her compete, I think. I have. You got a <laughs> voice, youngin'. Yep. Thank you. What you gonna sing for me today? I'll be singing Amazing Grace. Okay. Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound mm. that saved the wretch like me. Okay. Ah, I love talent. Great like voice. It. Yeah, you are girl. I Thank love you. it. Yeah. Will Raven is the bomb. Dot diddly com. I mean, she just killed it. Do you win a lot? Well, don't lie. Yes. yes. <laughs> Why do you think that is, Raven? Well, I've been doing pageants since about seven or eight, and I feel like I have self confidence. I'm telling you, you're, you're future Miss America. You <laughs> are. I want Raven at the pageant place because yes, I've coached many winners. But I'm ready to coach a girl who's capable of being Miss Georgia in a few years. So hang out afterwards for us, OK? Yes, ma'am. All right, tell your mom. I will. I'm very excited to be joining the pageant place, girls, because I've been doing very well, but I'm ready to take it to the next level, because one day I would like to win the title of Miss America. <laughs> mommy, 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 I'm so good, I'm so good. They, they want us to stay after. I definitely think the pageant place is the right place for her to be. You sounded beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> well, the little girls so. are, oh my god, I'm so excited. Well, that's sweet. Okay. The mama didn't even congratulate her. Look at yes, her. Did you ever see? Did you ever see? <laughs> it was Who cares? Amazing. This mama, her kid walked out of an audition where she just made it. And she turned her nose up and didn't even hug her. I was like, please, are you that cocky? Here's the knives. Oh, uh oh. She's as good as the ones on Miss America. Oh! Okay. 
Who throws knives in a talent? You belly dance? Yes, ma'am. Can I just see a little jig? Oh, God. Go oh, my God, but see how she can move her belly? I want to learn that. Are you on crack? Girl, call me. I don't think Allison has any business learning belly dancing. You couldn't call it belly dance. That'd be gut dancing. She'd be rolling all right. I know. You are hot. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. <laughs> are you kidding me? What's your name? Adia, but you could call me Adia Fly. I know she don't look the part. She's a little curvy. She reminds me of myself. All my life, I've been big boned. My daddy always used to say, the bigger the butt cheeks, the sweeter the meat. So you, you're a singer, so are you gonna sing for us today? Yes, I'm singing my own song called Diva Girl Swag. I made, wrote it myself. Diva Girl Swag. <laughs> okay. I'm a diva and I like to sing. I'm the number one diva and I'm here to stay. Yeah, what you know about that diva girl swagger? Where'd you get that diva girl swagger? Yeah. Where'd you get that diva girl swagger? Yeah. Where'd you get, where'd you get? I'm unique in my very own way. In my very own way. Wow. I am absolutely in <laughs> love <laughs> with you. Go get your mom. I want to meet your mom. I can work with the look, but that talent, that's a raw talent. So tell me why you haven't done pageants. Uh, my financial situation changed last year, and I lost my job, and I lost my home. And so if you could just tell me how to go about it so when it changes, she can fulfill her dreams. We're business, and our, our business is to make money. I like money, <laughs> but I don't love money. I love seeing young kids step into their full potential. And I'll say this, I truly believe y'all coming here today was an act of faith. Oh, most definitely. So if you allow us to work with your daughter, I, we, would, we, would, we would find it as a huge privilege. Thank you. Well, welcome to the pageant place. Yes. Well, thank you. <laughs> I'm waving my fees to help train Adia. I'm not just looking for girls who can win crowns. Although there ain't nothing wrong with that. But this kid needs to be earned. What's wrong with, with you? your foot? I was doing dance practice for six hours and I pulled some ligaments. Six you hours? Six hour dance practice? Yeah. Did your mom push you? I've coached Mara for a long time. Mara is one of those kids, she dances so well. She wins a lot of pageants. Mara's not the problem, it's Angie that's the problem. I think this is beneath me. You don't think you can win. That's why you're not doing it. I don't care about winning. Lie. I promise. Oh, God. I can tell you right now with the greatest deal of authority, I am not in the mood for Angie's drama. Let me just tell you right now, you're here to re-audition to be at the pageant place. How you gonna audition with a boot on your foot? I want to hear more from you this pageant That's season right. than your mama. I want to be able to develop Mara, not hear Angie talk about how great Mara is. Hey, y'all. meets gymnast. <laughs> Hannah, you look great, honey. Yeah. Thank I'm really you. proud of you. Well, I don't have these yet, but they're coming. They're oh. coming. <laughs> she's a good comment, honey. I've coached Hannah for over two years, and she's definitely a winner. She's a smart kid, but now she's going to be moving up into the older teen division, 12 to 16. So I want to see how Hannah hangs with the big girls. Good job. Yes. And I want to ask you one last question before you go. Yes. Why should we keep you on at the pageant place, Hannah? Because I'm a child of God, and I have a great message to share. Thank you. Thank you. Here we go again. I'm all about praising Jesus. But when we start tacking it on to every question we answer in a pageant, it's starting to look a little funny to me. She's a little boring. Hannah is going to have to step it up. And Dad might kill me for saying it, but I'm just going to speak the truth. If I hear taps, oh God, is that clogging? That's clogging? Who is it? It's going to be Addison. God help me. Oh, Addie. Addison is my hee-haw country girl. Two weeks ago, me and my daddy went hunting, and I shot two bucks. Do y'all not know how hard it is to kill one? I shot two. She's my little hillbilly, but she charms the pants off of those judges. She won a lot of pageants last year, but I'm getting ready to polish that gem. So you ready for this pageant season? What's up, Buttercup? This time, I'm going to try to be more serious in the interview. What do you mean? 
Fuck. I kind of think of an example. Okay, okay. you need an example. example. Hannah. Hannah, she's a prim and da 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 da, and I'm like, but uh, like she's so, she's so tiny, short, and innocent, but I'm not innocent, and I'm tall like that. Are you smart? I can be. When? Like I'm, I'm, I'm book smart. I'm not, I'm not common smart. I'm book smart, or you know, whatever. No, you vice versa. Let's see what you got. Well, what is that? What I made up. A step. I love Addison, but if she does not get it together, I don't know what we're going to do. And Kim says, how bad do you want it? How bad do you want it? How bad do you want it? I want it really, really bad. Well, we'll be the judge of that. Thank you so much. All three of my pageant pros just showed up and brought nothing to the table today. My pageant pros are a hot mess. All right, so I've got one word to describe today's auditions for my pageant pros. Other than Raven, you're new. You came, you brought it, y'all were fantastic. That's why you're here. Just keep being you. So here we go. Raven's part of Pageant Place, and it's the worst thing ever. She's stiff competition for Mara. One word I have described the rest of you is disappointment. And would any of you like to tell me why I would be disappointed? Coming up, sit there with your arms crossed in disgust like a little brat. I could not believe my ears. And later, Adia, you ready? Come on, let's see it. Oh my. One word I have described the rest of you is disappointment. And would any of you like to tell me why I would be disappointed? I mean, seriously, Angie, she's got a boot on her foot. Mara can still dance if you want her to dance. Angie, she can't dance with a boot on her foot. We wouldn't let her do that. There's a reason for that boot on that foot, or she wouldn't have I it have on the foot. a doctor's note. Do y'all want me to yeah, go get I it? I gotta have the doctor's note. Okay, we gotta okay. Have the, yeah. we'll, we'll get a doctor's note. Mara's a dancer. She strained some ligaments in her foot. She's still able to dance. Kim needs to just shut up and quit worrying about it. And Hannah. Other than you accepting Jesus Christ as your personal savior, Allison thinks you're boring. Do you do the faith card to play me? No, ma'am. No, she saw my dad when he passed away at the end of her bed when she was like five, and he was in heaven already. Addison, she did nothing. Which, this, it's not surprising here lately how things have been going. Wow. You know, I have that phone, because Chatty Cathy here can't shut her mouth. Has Therefore, she been running with boys? Has she been running with oh, yeah. Oh! Bingo! Oh. That's the truth, Addison. Right You've been hitting the streets Addison, in Vidalia. You know, Excuse me? I have not been anywhere. We, I you obviously haven't that. been practicing dance. Obviously. She needs to be washed in the blood of the lamb like Hannah. Maybe you two need to hang out. That's what, yeah? I, I feel like nobody's on my side. My own mama ratted me out. This is the bottom line. Y'all don't want this. I don't believe that. Angie, let me just tell you something. I run the ship, and right now it's sinking. And it ain't because of me, Allison, and Mom, because it's sinking. Tell her you want it to help you. Mom, then stand there like an idiot, like you've been doing. Let them at you about it, Mara. Sit there with your arms crossed in disgust like a little brat. I could not believe my ears. I'm just wondering if I made the right choice for Raven, because the mothers are kind of crazy. We have a pageant this weekend. Everybody's competing together. It's 12 to 16 cash prize and a one-year contract with a modeling couture agency, one of y'all better win. Miss Teen Dream is a serious pageant with some seasoned competitors. And my girls, if they're gonna compete and win, they've gotta bring it. You're my pros. Love y'all. Thank you. Be prepared to share. Okay, because your story's gonna touch people. It's gonna touch people who've gone through the same thing. It's gonna touch the judges. It's gonna get you points. <laughs> I'm not trying That's to be right. shallow, but I'm keeping it real. Okay. Pull okay. Our Miss Teen Dream is a huge pageant for talent. That's why I've entered a DA into it. But what she needs training in is interview, which is also a significant part of your score. Hello. Come on in. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, everybody, I want y'all to meet. Adia, she's gonna join us this week. Uh, Y'all should hear Adia sing. She can sing. 
Really? She can sing, and she writes her own music. I mean, you know how, and how I love singing. <laughs> <laughs> I love dancers, too. Yes. <laughs> okay, so look, today, you know, we've got the big pageant. I just want to kind of give you the 411. It's Miss Spring Teen Dream. Miss Teen Dream is always well put together. It's always very sophisticated. Nice titles, nice trophies, nice crowns, and honey, we know we always want a big crown, right? We have talent, which Raven's like, yes. We have beauty, and we have on-stage interview. I'm sick to death of seeing pageant girls do pageant answers. So we've got some exercises we're gonna do today, and I want to hear heart. I want you to speak from your gut. Interview is everything in pageants. And obviously my pros need some refreshing because in the auditions, they act like they had never been coached a day in their life. Now, the question is going to be asked to Raven by Mara. All my current pros know Raven. They're nervous, they're scared. Sometimes adding fresh meat to the mix helps teach my old dogs some new tricks. Mara, I'd like for you to ask a question of any choice that you would have off of your bio. I was adopted, so what do you think about if you were adopted? If I were adopted, I would be so thankful for the person who adopted me because that's such a great blessing. Okay, now Raven is beautiful. Raven is smart like Hannah. She can talk and she can walk and she can sing, so. She's definitely a triple threat. How can I stop being breathy? You've got to self-discipline and just say, hi, Kim, how are you? Say that. Hi, Miss Kim, how are you? Addison, say it. Hi, Miss Kim, how are you? Say it just like she said it. Hey, Miss Kim, how are you? <laughs> Ooh, that's better, though. Yeah. That's better. No. You don't hear the Angie, Angie, oh, peanut scary. gallery. It was. It was just the same. <laughs> it was just the same. Oh, oh, my God, it's better. It's better. <laughs> that makes me mad. Would you ever go and have dinner with the president and tell him how to run the country? You say, well, Kim, you're not the president. I'm the president of the pageant place, CEO, CFO, and all of that. Mara, I need you to walk up in your pageant stance in your boot that your mom overworked you at a dance competition. Okay, Adia, I'd like for you to ask Mara a question based on what you've recently been through in your life. Well, we live with my aunt right now, but we used to live in a basement. Do you think you can handle the struggle of living in a basement? Do you think you could go to school, act like everything is not going on? Bad. Adia's story is compelling to me. The fact that this kid doesn't have anything, and most all my girls are given everything, that juxtaposition for me is exciting. I can help Adia realize that you're not your circumstance. You're not your past. There's power in the pain that you have and that can propel you into your future. I think Adia can teach our girls something. Angie, you can learn something from Mara. That kid's heart is as big as Texas, but I don't know if I can deal with her mama. Adia, what do you hope to learn from your experience in pageantry? Let me ask you another question. What do you hope to learn from being here with all these girls? <sighs> this is a lot harder than I thought. What I hope is, what I hope to learn from these girls is the walk, the talk, and the polish. And knowing what to do. So when I see them do this, I will know what to do to go on stage. So like when we're doing a town. When we're doing a pageant, I know what to do on stage. Can I say something, Kim? Yeah. You just said, answer the question that you hope to gain self-confidence from the pageants. I don't feel that from you. I feel like you exuberate yeah. confidence. I feel like you walk on the stage and I'm like, wow, okay, I'm sold. I know Adia can sing, but she's got to trust me and be ready to tell her story in interview. This week, we gonna take home some crowns. You got it? Woo! Coming up. Then you walk up to the front to where she's gonna answer the question. Let me walk for y'all. Oh my God, I'm telling you right now, I'm getting fired the heck up. Get up there and sit your tail down.
Did you see Kim? Yeah, hey Kim. Come on over, do you have a seat? Miss Teen Dream is a great pageant for my girls because it has scholarship money, it has talent, it's a big pageant, it's a lot of notoriety. Very similar to what they would experience at Miss Georgia. I want all cell phones put up, please, ladies. I want all cell phones up or they'll be confiscated and I'll read your text and reply to your little boyfriend. And we all know Addison has no phone because she's been running the streets. I'm not obsessed with boys, I don't know why. Like, even if I was, I don't mean I want to get with them. That's Why you got that illegal. mustache ne necklace on? Because I must ask you a question. That's a hot mess. Angie. That's so like three years ago. Angie, it's so city. You would not know anything about the mustache. Girls, y'all have got about 10 minutes. I suggest you go ahead and change. Let's move it, move it, move it. No, no, pitchy, pitchy. <laughs> so you're going in the land of the free. Word is around the pageant world, Raven is perfect and put it off. No, that singing was off me. Do it, Whitney Houston. Oh, may she rest in peace. Kind of add lip that just a little. Oh, gosh, how will I know if he really loves me? He'll call you. <laughs> Listen, you are crazy. Just saying. <laughs> Angie, I am so worried. About what? She's fine. This is already swollen. Well, it's going to be swollen for about six weeks, they said. I'm afraid Mara, if she continues to dance on that foot, she's going to do some permanent damage. That concerns me as a coach. Angie's a crown hog. All she wants to do is win, 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 win. I don't, I don't, I don't think you should do the pageant. I disagree, of course, with what you're saying. Well, what's new, Pussycat? Sick. Kim has got to quit focusing on Mara wearing the boot. I want to win, and I want to do whatever it takes to win. I'm to tell you something. Tell him. Look at me. Perfection. When you get on that stage, you better bring it like you hadn't never brought it before, saying, this is the real me. This is the fighter. This is the dancer. I don't care if my foot hurts. I'm going to push through it. You hear me? I think Angie pushes Mara way too far. We're telling you to let your kid rest. Let her heal. That just tells me, God, what else does she push her to do that Mara doesn't want to do? Ooh. Adia, you ready? Come on. Let's see it. It's awesome. Oh my. That outfit is slamming. Stupid. And by stupid, I mean good. Adia walks out in her town outfit. I was like, rock star, baby, yes, you look hot. How do you feel? I feel swagged out. When I saw myself, I was like, ooh, is that me? I'm so hot. She looks so good. <laughs> I ain't got time. I'm so yo, proud yo. of you. He looks so good, Dan. OK, look at me. Just remember, the judges, 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 OK? Adia will not look like the other girls. She's going to stand out, and I want her to show that deep girl swag. Everybody, let's go. Go, 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 go. Come on, Adia. Let's move it, move it, move it, move it. Everybody, remember, deep girl swag. You know I want you to do the pageant, but I want you to protect your foot. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to take this out on you, OK? Put your hands together for Mara. <laughs> nervous. You're sweating. I smell you. I'm yeah. sweating like a Do you put that clinical church? deodorant on? Tell me you put the clinical on. Mara's foot held up during the dance routine. They're lucky. It's by the grace of God. Come on, Hannah. Come on. Flip. Whoa. Hannah's amazing. Maybe these older girls should be worried that Hannah's showing up. She ain't got no energy. It's like a lip dish rag. You can see it in her face that she gave up. She didn't care. Addison sucked. You got it. Sing your heart out, baby. Sing your heart out. I feel prepared and ready to kick butt.
Raven singing the national anthem made me want to join the armed services. As soon as y'all get out there, okay? And, and do your talent right to the judges. Okay. Adia might not have the experience these other girls have, but her talent is gonna blow them away. She's funky. She's like my little mini Mary J. Blige. Woo! Come on, Adia. Come on, Adia. Come on, Adia. Where's her mic? Where's her mic? Hold on. No, 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 no. Microphone. Why? Coming up. I'm getting fired. The heck up! Get over there and sit your tail down. And later, all week, you have been stepping in my territory. There's too many cooks in the kitchen. I just really don't understand where you're going with this. Find your judges as soon as y'all get out there, okay? And, and do your talent right to the judges. This pageant is, is a really big pageant. It's a lot of competition. My girls are gonna have to put their best foot forward and really work, especially Adia. It's her first pageant. Woo! Come on, Adia. Come on, Adia. Come on, Adia. Where's her mic? Where's her mic? Hold on. No, 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 no. Microphone. Go get it. Go walk. Get it. Okay, okay, okay. Difficulty difficulty happens difficulty. Sometimes. Do it, Y'all know y'all got them haters. Come on now. Clap your hands. Don't talk to the audience. Just sing the freaking song. I'm unique in my very own way. Interview and evening gown are coming up next. Interview scores everything. It's the first chance these judges have heard these girls speak, and it's the last chance for these judges to give these girls the scores they need to win. You're doing an inverted T. We're normally used to walking here, doing the T here. Mm -hmm. You're gonna do the T here and walk it like a runway. I don't get it. Oh gosh, I knew. Okay, so watch. Y'all runway models do the T walk. It's not difficult. I'm wonderful, I'm fabulous. Milk it. Shh, shh, shh. Then you're gonna come over here to this side. This is your T, you got me? I still don't get it. Okay, this is the T. So now here's the T, right? Okay, so in, that's what inverted means to me, and I'm just gonna tell y'all I don't know a lot of big words. Coming to your blue mark. Hello, blue mark. Hey. Ha! Huh. Then you walk up to the front to where she's gonna answer the question. This is where she's answering the question at the blue mark. Let me walk for y'all. Oh my God. Watch me, watch. That Angie makes me so mad, I'm gonna slap my own face. I ain't been doing pageants all my life. And a watch Angie. No, Deb, say that one more time. What? Say to watch Angie one more time. I ain't oh, kidding no, you. I didn't. I'm no, telling no, you right I now, I'm getting fired the heck up. Ain't nobody gonna teach nothing but me. I'm the only one that's been on a national stage. Get up there and sit your tail down. I ain't no dummy. I know what the heck I'm talking about. Hannah, I'll show you when we get up. No, you don't know anything about pageants. <clears throat> Let me tell you something, Hannah. I was Miss Gwinnett. Don't get too cocky for me either. That's a rinky-dink pageant. Well, no, it wasn't, Hannah. It was a prelim for Miss Georgia, so you shut but up. But you didn't win. I won, witch. You didn't win Miss Georgia. Yes, I did. No, I didn't go Kim won. And shut your mouth. I'm your mother. Oh, Lord. These people are crazy. <laughs> 
If I add one more cray cray to the mix, I'm liable to lose it. We got five minutes. She's kind of worried about her dress. You know how when a strapless, you always feel like your top ties are about to fall out right. when you stand she up straight? Do she does feel like her breasts are about to well, fall out. Well, let me out. see her. Where is she? Adia! Adia, come on out, honey. Adia, come on out, baby. Adia, you ready? Come on. Adia! Look at that headpiece! Oh. Mom, the headpiece looks fantastic. Oh, it's fabulous. I have never put on a pageant dress. So it was kind of like, like, wow. You look so gorgeous. Adia looks so beautiful in the dress that Kim loaned her. I can't believe this is my little girl. She looks like a princess. Tell us your story. My mom recently lost her job, and we had to um, get out of the apartment. I don't want to do this. You got to. No, honey, don't. <laughs> Listen, being transparent and vulnerable and sharing who you really are is scary. But if she'll just do it, they're gonna love her. I have five little sisters. I know that I really am their mentor and I'm making a difference for them. She's doing a roundabout. Pilality! Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Mar has the total package. She has a great walk. There is no way I was going to let her walk on stage and do a back tee that's incorrect. Not going to happen. She didn't walk enough. Coming up. I just felt like running off the stage. And later, all week, you have been stepping in my territory. I can't do this anymore. have a charity of choice? Yeah, community what? hospice because some of their stories touch my heart. Which, and, and, and give me Example, a Example, one baby had this disease where you're not born with a butthole. Oh my gosh, really? Let's not say that. Well, Don't that's say where they're not born without a butthole. I thought you were dealing with the old people. Remember I am. Okay, we're talking about the old people. She always telling me to have heartfelt stories. When I try to share that, she says a negative. If you had two wishes, what would they be? People might think I'm country and dumb, but my looks ain't gonna fool them, okay? Because my wish is to host the CMAs one day, and I hope I get that far. And my second wish is that I really love to help old people one day. Like my pageant code, Miss Jo. She's old. And sometimes she can't eat, walk, I mean, she needs help. Come on, come on. <laughs> oh my God. Addison, she's gonna be sorry. You just wait. A lot of our generation girls think that they have to be beautiful on the outside to feel special, but it's what's in your heart that makes you special and your inner beauty. Right now I'm seeing the scared to death look on your face. What's going on? Are you still nervous? Thank you. Have you enjoyed this Give them welcome for the wonderful Adia. many inspirations, but tell us the one that really touches your heart. I just felt like running off the stage. Come on, Adia, do it. But I'm not going to quit. I am going to keep going. Well, what really touches my heart is my mother, because she recently lost her job, and we had to move in with her friend. And... And I want to uplift people with my voice. And I want to get us a house so I can never see my mom struggle ever again. That was one of the realest 
speeches those judges have ever heard. I mean, she pushed through. This is my first pad in the new age division with the other girls. I'm nervous because I'm tiny and their other girls are so tall. Let's welcome on stage the junior Miss Teen Dream Skin Queen. This is my first pageant and I don't know how it's supposed to go. Like, all judges are different and I'm probably not what they're looking for, so I'm kind of nervous. The levels were so high and a phenomenally hard competition to judge. Here we go. Drum roll, please. In third place is... Contestant number 13, Mara Collins! Third place. I'm shocked, Mara. Name two. I'm shocked Mara got third. She walked like Jackie Jordan. I mean, she was running a freaking race. And uh, she didn't do the inverted T, Angie. She didn't do it. And in second place, Put your hands together for contestant number one, Hannah Scott! A little bit. 12 years old, just got beat all in front of us, beat all these 16 year olds. Hannah plays above Mara. Anybody can be beat on any given day with a set of judges. Anyone. And, drum roll please, the winner of the junior Miss Teen Dream Spring Queen pageant is. Contestant number 16, Raven. We took the top three. We took the top three. The top three girls are from PPP. I am so proud of my girls. Just call me Butter, baby, because I'm on a roll. Excellent. Nailed it. Congratulations. I took the crown home. That was very exciting. Well done. Yeah! Top three! Woo Coming up. You did so good. You told your story, and you wasn't worried about what other people were thinking. You were true to your heart. And let me tell you something. You are women. You overcame everything. You did good for your first time. You know I'm proud of you. This is my first pageant, so everybody's going to have these feelings. I've learned a lot from Miss Kim, and I thank her for that. Here, I got something to say to y'all. You have made me really appreciate and recognize why I do what I do. It's for girls like you who have never had a shot. You've touched my heart, Mom. You've touched my heart again. And I hope this isn't the last time I see you too because you have a full scholarship to the pageant place anytime you want to come, free of charge. I am so grateful because that is a big help. And that just shows Kim, she really has a big heart. Thank you, Kim. Mm -hmm. I love you. I love you more. Mm -hmm. For her to see something in me and that she wants to keep helping me, it feels so good. I appreciate it. you. So one question. Oh, God. Will y'all come back? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I love my new team. I mean, these girls have pizzazz and they're all unique in their very own way. These other pageant coaches in Georgia better watch out because I'm coming for the Miss Georgia title. This time, as a coach. Hey, y'all. Good job, Mara. Good job. Mara, you did so good, girl. Were you proud? What was the one thing you wish you would have done better? Slow down on my Slow down walk. Walk. Yes. Right. In the inverted T, I gotta talk to you. I apologize for losing my temper today. I do. This is hard for me to have this conversation with y'all. Because you know I love you. I don't like y'all the time, but you know I love you. I'm fine. Why are you upset? I'm fine with what you, I'm fine with I'm not fine with it. I know how you feel about me. And how's that? You don't think I know what I'm doing. I don't think you know what a back T is. I just really don't understand where you're going with this. Where right? I'm going with it is all week. You have been stepping in my territory, and I'm going to lead come hell or high water. Nobody said you were. I'm a leader, and that's what I'm going to do. 
You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink. Exactly. That's why. Peace out. Great. I never would have imagined she would do this tomorrow. You're dumb, you're an idiot. That's the way she plays ball, then maybe I need to be on another team. I'm sorry, Mara. I can't do this anymore. And you can go all the way. But I can't do this anymore with your mom. Come here. <laughs> You'll be fine. Listen to me. You'll be fine. <laughs> I'm going to see you again. You're going to be competing. I'm going to see you in pageants. I love you. Okay? I'll never forget it. You are Miss America. I love and adore Mara. But I'm trying to build a united team here. And with Angie around, it's just it's so hard to do. But I will always keep in touch with Mara. I will always love her and believe in her. I just can't coach her. All right, go get your mama. Love you. Love you too. It's been a hard week, but it's been a great week too. I mean, we did so well at the pageant. We took the top three spots. I can't complain about that. But you gotta know when to love them and when to let them go. <sighs> at least the girls did well. Top three, you can't complain about no. that. No, I feel like I've been hit by a Mack truck though. God, I swear, a pageant day kills me. Shoulders back. It's hard, so now it's heel. No complaining. Whoa! Come on! That'll teach her to call me old. It's like a thousand bee stings. 